Welcome to Real Kiwi Fishing. This week, Pierre and I back out on the Gulf. Pretty much mid-winter, and a lot of guys have packed away their fishing gear, put their boats away for the uh, winter time. And what we're gonna do today is basically head out and just see what we have to do to get a feed of fish in the winter time. And what we like to do is move into the shallows, pump a big burly, get some big baits down, and chase those kelpies it's a great time of year everyone's back at home didn't want to put the uh their feet in the cold water and we're out catching fish we've only just started got the burley going what we like to do is have the burley on the surface in the shallows and what that does is it draws the fish up out of the weed line and then we just use floating baits or a little ball sinker and nine times out of ten once the fish come on the bite They'll grab it mid-water. But yeah, today's all about basically seeing what we got to do to get us into some fish in that mid-winter. See how hard it is. Was it worth getting up in the cold sort of wind? We've got a southwest today, putting our feet in the cold water. And um, so far, so good. We've got a couple in the bin, nothing big. But um, it's a start, and there's always a good chance of catching something big in the shallows in the kelp. Big burly going, so hopefully get into a few more fish and hopefully you enjoy. Now we've just got the burly going on the surface there, and I can see it all just strewn around the boat, and that just brings all the fish in close. And what normally happens is those smaller fish, they're not so shy, they'll come up closer to the boat. And those bigger fish will just sort of sit off in, in the out sort of outer reaches of um, where that burley's sort of getting through and they'll be picking up those little scraps. So what I like to do is basically cast out about 20-30 metres and hope that those bigger ones are sitting out there and waiting for your bait. We're only sitting in around that sort of 8-10 eight, eight to 10 metres and that sort of that kelp line. Good thing to do is just have a nosy round. Try and find yourself a nice bit of reef, maybe a bit of reef that's coming up off the sand. Fish that sort of weed line. I'm getting a couple little nibbles there and I'm just letting the little fish nibble at it. Don't strike because you know it's just a small fish. Wait for that grab. Bigger ones will see see that all the commotion come over, bash the small fish out of the way and hopefully grab your bait. See so sometimes when you're fishing at winter time, it can get quite frustrating sort of your, your bites is quite slow not a lot of fish quite tentative on the bite and just that short window you might get a half an hour of a real good bite so it can get frustrating and the good thing to do if you're sort of fishing those shallows if you pick up a couple of nice fish and you're getting those small fish in amongst them move off move on to another reef another bit of fowl and start again and you'll catch some more nice fish you just sort of got to keep moving and you might even come across a nice bit of fowl that's holding some nice fish and you get quite a few of them so I'm just running a uh, basically a floating line floating baits I've got a uh, surgeon's loop there on my braid 
just to double up where I join the um, leader to and that's just a back to back uni knot straight down to my hook I've got a little um, glow bead there and that's all I'm using for now I've caught a few fish here only around that sort of 40 centimetres so nothing big we've had a couple of nice hits there's a lot of little fish and that's what I was saying before you'll get those small fish and you'll get the odd nice one in, in amongst them and if you sort of catch those decent fish and there's nothing any um, any more only the small fish you might as well just have a shift so we'll um, probably shift we'll get, give it probably another couple of baits see what happens but yeah we'll probably just do a little bit of a shift don't have to shift far maybe 100 meters 200 meters just just to somewhere different and hopefully there's some big fish um, once again in that sort of burly trail once you get that cranking again it's got um, chunks of kawai in the meat and out the back through the skin and that's it just cast that in And you'll get a lot of peckers sort of coming in and just pecking at the bait. With those big chunks of kawai, the good thing is you can just leave it, leave it there. Unlike sort of your pulchards or your squid will get taken within your sort of first few bites. So all I do is I just let those smaller fish have a go and wait for those big grabs. But yeah, we'll probably um, do a bit of a shift like I was saying, we've probably caught the bigger fish sort of in this area. There's nothing too big. There's no use sitting here just catching sort of 25, 30 centimetre fish. Might as well sort of move on. Have another shot on another reef somewhere further around the coast or something. Hooked up. Still nothing big. The bigger fish that we've got here is around that sort of 40 centimetres. So yeah, it's roughly the size we're sort of getting here. What we might do is just try a couple more baits. You can see the uh, kawai there, kawai bait. And all I was doing is letting those little fish have a nibble and this guy came in and just hammered it that's what I was saying about those hard baits especially for your winter fishing in the shallows getting all those little peckers but yeah we'll um, chuck him in the bin he's probably around that 37 38 so at least we're catching fish and that's what it was all about today coming out and just seeing if we actually can come out and have a feed, get a feed in that winter time, is it worth it? Got about four in the bin, so pretty much it's um, been worth it already, and if we can sort of get a couple of nicer fish, that'll just top top the uh, morning off, but we'll um, get them in the bin. So we've done a bit of a shift, caught about five or six in the um, shallows there, and a lot of small fish turned up for us so we've decided to do a bit of a shift we've actually come out onto Wellington Reef fish a little bit deeper send them 10 meters we'll see how we go got our first baits in basically using the same rig just stray lining little ball sinker straight to the hook it's a hard thing when you're around um, fishing those winter months. It does get a little bit difficult to track down something decent. You can head out real wide out into that 50, 60 metre mark and there's plenty of fish out there. But this was just to um, come out and see if it was worth just coming out short distance in the little boat. And even rock fishing is really good this time of year. Big burly going, 
Just flicking out some floating baits. It's a good time of year. And we're just fishing a real nice drop off, sitting up in about five, hook, hook the anchor up on about five meters. And then it drops away down to 20. And we're just fishing that sort of five, eight to 10 meters. Hopefully the um, burley will bring those fish up off that sort of 20 meter mark up along the face to our baits, but um, we'll see how we go. Oh, that's not bad. There we go. There you go, another little fish there. Basically getting a lot of fish sort of around that, between that 30 up to that size pairs, just getting nothing big. But um, they are starting to come on the bite a little bit more here. We've only been here for about half an hour. So we'll probably give it another sort of nudge for another half an hour. And um, that's what today was about anyway. It wasn't about coming out and catching huge fish but just seeing if it was worth coming out at all um, even just to get a feed so so far so good got about five or six snapper in the bin so it hasn't been too bad actually it's nice to get onto those bigger fish you know every fisherman's after those big fish but in that winter time like I was saying it's pretty hard sometimes and you just really want to know is it worth coming out you know are you going to waste your money and gas and food and bait and whatnot but um, we've just basically shown you that you can still come out and get a feed at least you know sort of sort of those 35 up to about 40 centimeters get a sort of eight or nine of those it's plenty and um, it's still worth it but we'll um, hopefully get a few bigger ones never know so we've done a little bit of a shift Caught a few nice fish where we were. Come in close again. Sitting in about five, six meters. And hooked up to a little bit nicer fish. Caught a couple around that sort of 35, 40 centimeters. We decided to do a little bit of a um, move. There's a lot more um, smaller fish came, came on. There you go. A little bit nicer fish. There we go. Go okay, another nice fish for pair there. Got that still that cold sort of wind going. Water will be a bit cold. It's probably around that sort of 13, 14 degrees. But um, it's definitely been worth it coming out. Okay, it hasn't been um, going off like hectic or anything like that, but um, definitely got um, enough fish in the bin there. <laughs> so yeah, it hasn't been too bad. Get another bait in. Hooked up. Hooked up to our fish of the day. <laughs> it's not a bad fish, not big. But they're just really coming on the bite now. Can feel them, feel it rubbing on his teeth. Peter's hooked up. Oh, oh he dropped one. <laughs> but yeah, it's not a bad fish. It's one we've been waiting for all day for. And it's those bigger ones that you want to sort of come across from the kelp, come into the shallows, chuck down a heap of burley. Yeah, just in case. And uh, yeah, he's not a bad fish. He's not huge. But definitely worth getting your uh, feet cold for. There we go. He's not a bad fish. Like I was saying, he's not too big, he's not massive. <laughs> a 
but a nice fish to finish the day off. Well, pretty much going to call it a day. Was it worth coming out in the cold and the wind? And got up this morning, thought, oh, it's a bit cold, but should be worth it. Those winter fish in prime condition and should be in close. So didn't do too badly. Here's the bin here. So yeah, not too bad. Caught a few fish and it was well worth getting up for. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Till next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching another great day out fishing with real Kiwi fishing. And you can also find more of my movies on my YouTube channel, Real Kiwi Fishing.